G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my EV Realist videos. In these videos I put a more realistic uh, view of EVs uh, to counter the kind of wildly idealistic view of EVs that's currently being pushed uh, by our governments around the world. If you like this kind of content it would be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this video I'm going to expose how woefully inefficient even the fastest EV chargers are compared to our existing petrol and diesel filling stations. But in order to do this we're going to have to do a little bit of science. So here we go. So going back to first principles the unit of energy is the joule and that is defined as a force of one newton moving through a distance of one meter. That doesn't mean very much but basically it's a unit of energy. Uh, the amount of electricity required to run a one watt device for one second that's literally the definition the energy required to lift a hundred gram apple by one meter the food energy in about half of a single crystal of ordinary sugar so once we've worked out what energy is we need to understand what power is and power is energy uh, over a particular period of time so the number of joules in a second is power its amount of energy per second and the unit for that is the watt which we're all familiar with with um, electric light bulbs and things like that so a 60 watt bulb uh, converts 60 joules of energy uh, per second so whilst we use watts as a unit of power we don't use joules as a unit of energy and instead what we do is we multiply the number of watts by the number of hours over which it's consumed and we end up with another unit kilowatt hours and one kilowatt hour is actually equivalent to about 3.6 megajoules of energy so let's get those kind of definitions out of the way to start with and the reason I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to put a comparison together of the speed of charging of an electric vehicle compared to the speed of filling an internal combustion engine car uh, with fuel at the fuel pump. So the fastest electric car uh, chargers that are available um, have a power uh, rating of about 350 kilowatts. That means they're capable of delivering 350,000 joules of energy uh, per second. And that sounds like an extraordinary amount. When you look at the speed at which you fill your regular internal combustion engine car, it blows this out of the water. So let's do the calculation. So let's say that your petrol pump uh, can pump, say, 30 litres a minute. So how much energy is there in a litre of petrol? Well, it turns out it's about 33 megajoules of energy in a litre of petrol. What about diesel? Diesel has about 38 megajoules of energy per litre. So if we average that out and say, okay, it's 35, and let's call it 35 megajoules uh, per litre of internal combustion engine fuel. So if we're pumping in 30 litres per minute at 35 uh, megajoules per litre, we're pumping 1,050 megajoules per minute into our internal combustion engine car. So 1,050 megajoules per minute works out to be about 17 and a half megajoules per second and megajoules per second is the same as megawatts so we have a charging power of 17 megawatts when we stick the nozzle into our tank which works out to be about 50 times faster than even the fastest EV charger. It just goes to show how extraordinary petrol and diesel are as practical fuels for our vehicles. Not only do they have huge amounts of energy stored in them for a very small volume, they're also, because they're in liquid form, we can pump them extremely fast, we can get people into our service stations and out remarkably quickly. And this is just never going to happen with EVs. So that's just about it for this video. As you can see, even the fastest chargers that you can get are 50 times slower than just sticking a nozzle in your fuel tank. And if you're stuck with like a 22 kilowatt charger, which they, they still claim is fast, that's like 800 times slower than just putting a nozzle in your tank. It just shows how woefully inefficient EV charging is compared to just pulling up at your local fuel station. 
So that's just about it for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, drop a comment down below. And if you've got any tips, you can catch me on Instagram or by email. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.